one race that stands out in my mind that I screwed up was the Daytona 500. Matt Kenseth passed me going into turn one. I know. It started freaking raining off of turn two. 12 seconds. If I just held the lead for 12 more seconds, I'd be a Daytona 500 champ. But I'll tell you the other part of it that no, probably nobody knows about to right now, Kenny Conversation. My son, Wyatt, who is 13 right now, had an atresia when, before he was born. We didn't know if he was going to make it, okay? Mm, right. So he was being close to being born during the time of that Daytona 500. Oh. I lost the race. I'm devastated. I'm heartbroken. If you win the Daytona 500, you have to stay overnight because you got to do all this stuff. And they fly you to New York and L.A. and you do all this TV. You, you know all of that. I flew home as disappointed as I can be, heartbroken. I had screwed up, and I let Matt Kenseth get under me with 10 seconds to go in the race. My wife went into labor the next morning at 4.30 in the morning. So I got to be with my wife, who had to have a C-section for my son, who had to have two emergency surgeries the day he was born to live. So if I had won the Daytona 500, Kenny, which had been great, right? That's every race car driver's dream. I would not have been home to be with my wife through the tough times that we knew it was going to be with Wyatt uh, when he was born with the emergency surgeries that he had to have. So in a, in a so if we're going to have a phrase, it's like I lost the Daytona 500, but gained a son. 100%. And I was there to support it and be a part of it in a major player in supporting my wife through that. So that one race that, I feel like, oh, you know, in my cup career was okay. I can, I'm okay with it now because I was here where my wife and my son needed me. 